What's up, boo? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to your dark side because I am showing you how to install and download mods for The Sims 4. So you clicked on this video because you really want to learn how to do that. I'm about to tell you everything, well, kind of everything that you need to know to get you started. So before we jump right in, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, this channel right here that you're looking at, because all I do is Sims 4 mods. Well, 99.9% .9 of the time is all I do is Sims 4 mods. There are some timestamps for each subject that I'm going to discuss. So that way you can like pick and choose what you want to learn. But I highly suggest you watch the whole video. The first thing numero uno is where do you get the sims 4 from because a lot of people don't know exactly where to get the sims 4 from you can get it from steam or you can get it from origin i personally use origin all you gotta do is go into origin here we are and origin is a program you have to download because it's a client and it's a free client but the sims 4 you do have to pay for so once you have it downloaded or steam you just search up the sims 4 so you're gonna need the base game of the sims 4 and it looks like this i'll leave links to everything that you're gonna need to know so number two i don't know why i'm doing four is there are different types of mods for the sims 4 there are script mods and there are mods aren't script when i mean my script i mean there are like gameplay mods they need a little bit more coding in order for them to function now if you want to learn where to download mods from my youtube YouTube channel is a huge outlet for you to download from go ahead and just scroll through i'm actually going to use a recent video on my youtube channel if you want to watch that video completely please do so i'm going to actually start you off with some like little some like some basic script mods that you can place into your game the simple pay to plan outfit from zero and then the fry em up deep fryer mod from rex and the sims as you can see i'm actually on zero's page right now now some mods are patreon some mods are free it really just depends if you're wondering if sims 4 mods are free it really just depends all the zero mods are free what this mod does it allows you to plan outfits but it's going to cost you just a little bit you may be wondering why i need this for it you'll see them you'll see okay i'm going ahead and download that all my downloads go to my downloads folder on my computer so i'm also going to go ahead and just scroll through make sure you read the descriptions of mods but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to scroll through just because i've already downloaded it and we'll go all the way down to the end but all the directions for this mod are there so make sure you read that just a quick fyi i'm going to do sims file share i'm going to do the deep fryer and i'm going to click download from sims file share now sometimes you may get like an ad fly link be careful depending on where the creator posts the mods you can get a virus sims file share is pretty simple you don't have to worry about sims file share but like something like media fire add fly links please be careful okay just please be careful all right so i'm in my downloads folder this is where everything that i download onto my computer goes and here are my two mods the zero all plan outfits cost money and the rex deep fryer it has a one because it's like i've downloaded these mods before so that's that's what it's doing and as you can see one is a dot package file and another is a compressed file so there are different types of download files when you're downloading monster the sims 4 a package file is your average file that goes to your sims 4 mod folder a package file a ts4 script files and depending on what the creator tells you in the directions sometimes they can be zipped sometimes they can be unzipped right here a compressed zip this is an example of a compressed zip file however you need to unzip it so i'm gonna go ahead and do my seven zip extract files okay and now the file is unzipped and i can grab the mod file that i need and place it into my game so number four five i forgot what step i'm on but post will tell me we're going to go ahead and install these mods for the sims 4 so if you don't know where your sims 4 mods folder is located you're going to go to documents you'll go to electronic arts the sims 4 mods and then here you are it's gonna go ahead downloads open window gonna go ahead back into my downloads folder where i download these mods i'm gonna move over the file move that over real quick and then i'm gonna open up this file and i have a ton of stuff in this folder all right some creators like to give you a lot of information when you download it so make sure you're reading this version right here is for like an if you have another mod in there to make it compatible with that mod here's a readme file it actually it tells you how to unzip how to install this mod itself the same way i'm showing you right now 
and then you have the package file the script file and another package file like i said some script mods need a package and a ts4 script file in order to work you have to have both these files and you have to keep them together but for the sake of this video i'm going to throw everything in the mods folder i'm going to call it a day but if you want to learn how to organize your mods folder because you can then there's a video that just linked the icon for you it's in the description box below for you how i organize my mods folder right now all my mods are not in my game so i can show you how to do this but i'm gonna go ahead and just grab all this stuff up and as you can see it says cool kitchen add-on i do have the cool kitchen so i will probably need this mod and boom they're installed if you want to learn how to uninstall mods just take it delete bam uninstall control z because i need it in there so you can see how they work and i'm gonna go back to origin i'm gonna go to my sims 4 game i'm gonna load the sims 4 because we're not done yet we have some more things we gotta do so once you first install mods in your game you're gonna have to go to options game options you have to activate the mods they're not activated when you first download the sims 4 they one option may be but not both of them so options game options other and then you're gonna have enable custom content and mods go ahead and click okay and then script mods allowed again script mods may cause your game to crash result in other unexpected behavior use at your own risk you will need to restart the game for this setting to change to take effect click okay now the sims does tell you you may cause issues with your game when you're installing mods especially if the mod is broken you update your game with mods install and other factors make sure you watch all my tutorial videos so you know i'm going to do apply changes apply changes x i'm going to exit game i'm going to restart my game all right so i restarted my game and this is the pop-up that i have mods max is not pre-screen or support mods please use with caution they always tell you that kind of true because you know mods you're modifying your game and you can f up your game if you're not careful okay it tells me what mods are installed my script mods and then my custom content i'm gonna go ahead and uncheck show at startup because that can also lag your computer especially if you have a lot of mods in your game i'm gonna click okay i'm gonna go and do no i don't want the tutorial because i don't need it all right so i have this basic sim i'm in a basic house look okay it'd be like that sometimes and now we're gonna check and make sure those mods i put in so the first mod allows me to actually pay to change my sims clothes i'm gonna click on the dresser and there it is plan outfits 250 simoleons now my sim can change her clothes and pay and then the second mod that i installed was the defryer mod so i'm gonna pause the game go to build by mode and i'm going to search for deep fryer so that way it can pause oh and here it is goopy's not so goop deep fryer and as you can see it actually tells you that it is custom content because of the little blue wrench above it if you also just want to search for all your custom content just click that custom content tag and then make sure you're doing show all and it will show you every piece of custom content in your bill by not in your cast but your bill by like your objects and stuff and i'm gonna go ahead and just choose like i guess this pink one i guess if i really want that i'm gonna click this and i'm gonna go ahead and check it i'm gonna select my oil some french fries make a family serving and there you go now if you want to learn all about the mods that i have in my game the video just popped in the icard for you also description box below for you about like all 40 50 mods that i use on like a daily basis so one very important thing you never want to go ahead and update your game with your mods folder installed and that's because you could corrupt the files when i mean corrupt i mean the game will overwrite the coding of your mods thinking that it's it's code and it will just f up all your mods to make them unusable and the entire folder will be unusable and you have to start over do not do this turn off automatic game updates in origin go to origin application settings go ahead down to client update and you want to search for automatic game updates here it is right here and make sure it's turned off it's going to be on but just click it again to turn it off you can keep on move origin thing you can keep on automatic update origin because that just means it's updating the client not the game they're two separate things but you just want to make sure game updates are turned off and then that way when there's a new sims 4 update it will tell you right here or my twitter my discord and my community page will tell you when mods are going to be updated if we have time to tell you this and then all you do is you just take your mods folder documents 
electronic arts the sims 4 mods you take all your stuff and you just put them in a new folder so desktop so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure my desktop icons you can you can see them real quick i'm gonna make a new folder real quick sort by i'm gonna do new folder test just because you know i need to show you this take up all this move it depending on how much you have do control a move it over and then make sure you delete go back to origin update your game you're good to go and then also after you update your game make sure you check my twitter my discord and you just see if mods need to be updated because we will tell you i will tell you my support team will tell you and if everything is good to go with that mod you just move it back to how you had it okay that's all you gotta do and you're good to go if you have any questions about sims 4 and mods make sure you comment down below also check out all my other tutorial videos how i organize my sims 4 mods folder and any other tidbits that you know you might need also if you want to download the mods i have in my game or any other mod that i have check out my youtube channel it has everything that you could use and i will see you next time <laughs>